Well, we start with the Tour de France, where Portugal's Rui Costa mastered stage 16 to secure victory in the French Alps. After a rest day, it was back to business for this 168-kilometer run from vaison la romaine to Gap. It didn't take long for a breakaway group to form. 40 kilometers in, a group of 25 riders snapped off the peloton. Amongst those escapees was the owner of the green jersey, Peter Sagan, who didn't have the legs to stay with the front runners. Sky's Welsh rider, Geraint Thomas, still riding with a fractured pelvis, was marshalling the pack, who were more than seven minutes behind the breakaway group. Well, none of the escapees threatened the GC, and it was just as well as race leader Froome and his rivals were held up for a few extra seconds at the level crossing. With 36 kilometers remaining, a new record was broken in this year's edition as the breakaways boasted a 10-minute lead over the yellow jersey group. And halfway up the Col de Mans, a second category climb, Rui Costa decided to rip away from his rivals in the breakaway group. Second place, Alberto Contador was also getting itchy feet, but the Spaniard was being shadowed by Froome each time he decided to try and make an exit. Back at the front, Costa was home and dry. The two-time winner of the Tour de Suisse just easing past the finish line in Gap after a fine ride in scorching temperatures. Let's get his reaction. Well, without any doubt, this victory is one of the most important ones for me. It's one of my happiest days. And even more in this stage, which is very important. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Two stage victories in the Tour de France makes me feel very happy. And also for the team, it's important. Christophe Riblon, Arnaud Jonasson and Jérôme Coppel gave the French public something to shout about as they crossed the line just seconds after Costa. Back in the descent, Contador nearly went down a ravine, taking Froome with him on a tight bend. They escaped unscathed, but it was a hairy moment for the two front runners in the GC. They went on to cross the line together without any further issues. Froome protecting his lead of four minutes and 14 seconds at the top of the overall standings. So that's uh, how it looks like after stage 16 that finished in Gap Costa, taking that wonderful victory, his second uh, win on the Tour de France. And Riblon, the Frenchman, second 42 seconds behind. Jonathan Coppel and Andreas Cloden all finishing at the same time with Dumoulin, another Frenchman, back in sixth. At the top of the standings, well, no change. Froome there with uh, uh, just uh, pedaling past the line with Contador, Molema. Well, he's in second position with uh, four minutes 14 behind Froome Kurzinger. Another Saxo Tinkoff rider still in fourth.